This car is one of 200 in Tanzania that has been converted to run on compressed natural gas. Lino, the owner, can switch from petrol to natural gas with just a push of a button. More drivers are making the change thanks to low operating costs and the government's push to create uses for its natural gas reserves. Lino says he's saved almost $3,000 over the past year. Since I started using gas, I've been able to save some money. That allows me to think of what to invest in, because I don't want to be a driver forever. Car owners go to the Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology to make the switch. It's here that components for the gas system are installed. Parts like a regulator, high-pressure tubing, and a pressure gauge. Installing the system costs about $770. But drivers say the expense is worth it, thanks to the savings they make in the long run. Compressed natural gas also emits 30% less carbon dioxide than diesel and petrol. Natural gas is uh, economically viable, is environmentally uh, good, and also uh, the life of the engine is going to be I mean, uh, extended. Despite many advantages, compressed natural gas vehicles also come with some challenges. The tanks require a lot of storage space, and there's a lack of infrastructure for delivery and distribution of the fuel. I have a 9 kilogram cylinder. I wish it was 20 kilograms, so I wouldn't have to go and refill every day. This forces me to go to the filling station every morning. By evening, it's finished. More drivers are looking to natural gas as a way to save money and preserve their engines. But Tanzania has a long way before making this a mainstream option. Still, drivers like Lino are spreading the word, and the government hopes this cleaner option can offer a greener future for Tanzania. Daniel Kijo, TRT World, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.